Hello and welcome to this module, Further Statistics for Health Science Researchers. This is actually a module covering two different module codes. HAR6045 is a version of the module for face-to-face -face students, whereas HAR6061 is a version for distance learning students. In subsequent weeks, I may refer to the module just as HAR6045, but at all times, it covers both versions of the module. This module is designed as a way of furthering the knowledge of students who have had some introductory statistical training, such as for Masters in Public Health students, HAR6035 or HAR6042. However, it is designed to help you use the stats in a more practical way, in particular by using the software SPSS. There is a wide range of students taking this module, however. As well as face-to-face -face students, we have distance learning students, we have students on the Masters in Public Health, on the Masters in Clinical Research, we have students from other Masters courses within Shah and elsewhere in the university, we have PhD students, and we also have continuing development, continuing professional development students. So you may be one of several people doing your particular area of work, However, there are likely to be other people on the course who are doing slightly different types of work. And so the examples that I will include will try to be relatively broad in their remit. So by the end of this module, the idea is that you should understand more fully the fundamental concepts and methods that are used in statistics by health science researchers generally. It can't cover everything that is done, but certainly all the fundamental principles and the main types of analysis will be covered. As well as teaching these in lectures, you'll be using SPSS to analyse data sets in this way. I'll say more about the tutorials in a moment, uh, but in addition to the actual analysis you'll be doing, you'll need to be able to apply the concepts you learn so that you can critically appraise research studies published in the literature so that, for example, you can understand what different techniques are used for, you can work out whether or not they were appropriate, whether the conclusions are justified, and so on. And finally, I'll also be talking about how to present research findings. Um, particularly in later weeks, we'll do this for particular techniques, and in the final week, I will give you some overall good guidance about this. However, you'll have the opportunity to try this out for yourself via the assessment. And I'll say more about the assignment in just a moment. The structure of this module is shown on this slide. Basically, we've got 12 weeks worth of material. In week one, which is this session, we will be covering a lot of material that hopefully you will have covered before and it's really an introduction to the module and an attempt to get everyone onto the same page in terms of understanding the statistical content so that some groundwork is set for when we apply the practical SPSS and more detailed statistical aspects later. Week two will be an introduction to SPSS um, for anyone who's not used it before, this will take it directly from the start, and it will not be attempting to cover too much in the way of statistical analysis, but mostly focus on actually how to enter and manipulate data in SPSS. For the face-to-face -face students, that will be a three-hour practical. Um, for the online students, there will be a number of videos in order to cover the different aspects of it. Then from weeks three onwards, there will be a lecture for the face-to-face -face students, followed by an SPSS tutorial with a practical element to it. Now the lecture will be recorded for the online students. Um, it will also be available on Mole for the face-to-face -face students as well, if you want to catch up on anything. But then uh, the tutorial part will be following a set of guided notes to cover the particular statistical tests 
and aspects covered in that week's lecture. Uh, each week there will be um, some notes to follow and some exercises, so do have a go at these as you go along. Um, for the face-to-face -face students, I will be there with two colleagues to help answer any questions as you go through. It's worth saying that this year all of the sessions uh, won't necessarily be in the same place. In fact, there are at least four different rooms that will be used for the practical sessions. So do please check the module guide carefully. This will be on Mole as well as uh, I'll tell you each week where the next one will be. Now the module will be assessed with an assignment which is due in by Monday the 8th of June. And this will involve writing a report of up to 2,000 words about the analysis of a data set which will be provided. And along with this particular data set, there will be a set of research questions which will be given for you to answer, but not the precise analysis methods which are required for those. Part of the challenge will be for you to deduce what is the best method of analysis to answer these research questions. A suggested structure for the report is given also along with this, and the assessment itself and all details, including the data set, will be posted up on Mole shortly. It's probably also worth just saying a word or two about myself. I mentioned my name is Jeremy Dawson. Uh, I am a statistician, but I am based 50% in the School of Health and Related Research and 50% in the Management School. So I work across two departments. I have two offices. My office in Shah is 3016, but at least half the week you probably won't find me in there because I'll be at the Management School. So um, if you want to get in touch, it's definitely best to email me first. If you're wondering why there's a picture of me playing the cello in a slightly strange, rocky place. Um, well, I'm not going to go into that now, but if you want to know more, then have a look at extremecello.com and you'll find out. Now, the last thing I want to say in this introductory chunk is that throughout today's lecture, I'll be referring once or twice, uh, as well as in some future weeks, to a study uh, that I read about, first of all, on the BBC website last year, a study linking a diet of red meat with various health outcomes. The study headline that we saw on the BBC website Red meat increases death, cancer and heart risk, says study. That was enough to make me more interested and want to read more about it. So you can see from this that there was a bit more detail provided. However, in order to get the full details of the study, it's necessary to have a look at the... This is the paper by Pan and colleagues, published in the Archives of Internal Medicine in 2012. And in this abstract, we can see a lot more information about the study. The paper itself is available on the Mole site, so it's well worth having a look at that. As I say, I'll be referring to this once or twice um, throughout the module, and so it's not a bad idea to have some familiarity with it. At least reading the abstracts would be a good idea at this point. Anyway, that's the conclusion of this introductory part. In the next segment, we'll look at describing and summarising data.